Hi everyone, it's Juliana. I'm here to share with you guys two boxes that I alter for two of my friends. And um, I wanted them to be kind of like vintage shabby chic. And I also used a bunch of products from Carla S001. So I'll go ahead and get started and share them with you guys. So let me start with this one. This is one of those little um, white boxes. I got this one at my local scrapbooking store. And I've been having so much fun altering these boxes. Um, a couple videos back, I did a big box uh, that I did with a vintage picture of a lady. And so I've been making these little ones too, which are perfect to like store goodies or jewelry or anything like that. So um, for for this box here, what I did is I used the printer, printery paper collection by Prima. And I added the paper all the way around the edges. So it just goes all the way around. I distressed the edges a lot. And then this is the other side. And then this is the front, the top of the box here. And what I did is I added one of my paper flowers that I teach you guys how to make with the doily punches. So I added that flower and then also a vintage button in the middle. And then also here in the back, I added a paper doily and then also added some vintage lace as well behind it. So it kind of created like a beautiful vintage flower and I love that. Um, here I used some of the cream heart pearl trim from Carla S001. Love this pearl trim and I thought it went really well with the paper collection. So I added that in this side here and also onto this side. And then I also uh, punched some of the Martha Stewart butterflies. So I just added a butterfly there and a butterfly there as well. And then I left this little corner here empty because I think I'm going to put her initial into the side. So that way it's more personalized. And then I also added this um, bow. I love making bows with seam binding. So I added a bow right here on the center. And um, over here along the sides. I added this beautiful cream ivory trim also from Carla S001. It's like one of this it's one of my favorite trims ever, you guys. It has like the satin on the top and the crocheted on the bottom. So the trim goes all the way around the box as well into the front. So that's what that one looks like. It's more like vintage with a little little bit of touches of pink. So that's what it looks like and then the box opens up like this and it's just plain and white on the inside because I'm going to be adding some goodies there for her. So that's what this one looks like. And the other box that I created is this one right here and the color is a little bit different because um, I try to use like their favorite colors. And then um, this one, what I did is I also used the same paper that I used, the printery paper by Prima. I love the script because it looks kind of like vintage. So again, I added the paper all the way around the box. And um, over here on the top, I added two of my handmade flowers. So this one I created with some fabric. And then I added this piece of seam binding in the middle in a pearl. And then I also added one of the Martha Stewart Punches Butterflies. And then in the back, I used some lace. So it's like an aqua color lace. And then in here, I also added this uh, crochet fabric flower that I had made. And um, just kind of goes like two flowers there. And then over here, I added some aqua looking lace onto the back. So I did some layers. And then in the corner here, there is a beautiful uh, pearl spray from Carla's S001 Etsy. It's super gorgeous, you guys. And it looks very elegant. So I added the pearl spray here on the top. And then another Martha Stewart butterfly right there on the top. And then over here on this side, 
I left it empty because I'm actually going to put her name here in the corner. So again, it's going to be another personalized box. And then I created this bow using some seam binding in like a beautiful aqua light color. I know it kind of looks like turquoise, but it's very light. It's a very light aqua color, the whole box there. And then in here, I added more of the beautiful heart trim also from Carla's Etsy store. So that's it, you guys, for the two little boxes that I created. I'm having so much fun making these, and I'm actually working on a couple of more for more friends. So I will share them with you guys soon. But I hope that you guys like this project. Uh, please be sure to check out Carla S001. I will have more pictures of the boxes on my blog. So please also follow my blog and subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, thank you so much everybody for watching. And I will see you guys soon with a couple of other videos. Bye everyone. Have a great day.